Kilo. Good day mga langga and welcome to my vlog. To my 179 subscribers, thank you very much for your support. And to my dear viewers, please keep viewing. And if you like my videos, please subscribe, like, and share. To my family, to Dodong and Kesa, and to the Regner family in Ormok, hi, how are you? I hope you're fine and I hope to see you in 2023. I love you all. Today, my vlog is about the football tournament I watched on Friday, March 24th. It was between the Philippines, the Ascals, and Kuwait. It was my first time watching a football match in person in a big stadium, and today I'm going to share with you my experience. To start with, I'm not really a football fan. I'm more of a tennis fan because early in my life, my father taught me how to play tennis. He was a very good tennis player. In fact, when I was little, he was the president of the tennis club in our town. <laughs> when my friend and Zumba mate Jade, pictured here, <laughs> told me about the match, I had second thoughts of going because aside from the fact that I'm not really a football fan, it was also held late at night at 10 in the evening because it's Ramadan time here. And the venue is about an hour from where I live. So I figured if it starts at 10, and if we count the travel time and the time it takes to finish a football match, which is about one hour and 30 minutes, I figured I'd be home at around one o'clock in the morning. It's a stretch for me because uh, the average time I'm home is around nine in the evening. So it was too late. But Jade, being a fan of the Ascals, kept convincing me to go because he said it's going to be a good match and we're going to have a good time, especially amongst Filipinos because she said many Filipinos are, are going as well. And so I got convinced and I went. And boy, I'm really glad I went because it was a different experience for me. I really enjoyed the whole event. First of all, the venue was amazing. It was a stunning piece of architecture. From the outside, here's what it looks like. It's a huge stadium, and the capacity of which is around 60,000. 60,000, and that's only the seating capacity. If you include the corridors, the food areas, the parking lot, maybe it could accommodate about 150,000 people or more. To give you a perspective of its size, the population of my hometown in the Philippines is only 80,000. That means if you put all my townmates in that stadium, only half of it will be occupied. There's still room for another town. <laughs> so that's how huge and beautiful it is. The second reason I enjoy the event are the fans, of course, especially the Filipinos. You know, when Filipinos support someone or a team or their favorite, they always give their 100% wholehearted support. And it was very obvious that night. There was a lot of waving, cheering, shouting, and everything else. And it made the game a lot more exciting and fun. <laughs> the final reason I enjoy the game is because of the match itself. In the beginning, it was quite slow and there were no goals. Spoiler alert. But in the second half, things picked up and it made up for really good viewing. I'm not going to tell you the result of the match because for those who haven't watched it yet or heard the news, it will just spoil the fun. <laughs> and so I'm giving you the privilege to watch the video and see the results for yourself. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to show you the, the venue itself, the Filipino fans, as well as the Kuwaiti fans, and of course, the highlights of the football match. So mga langga, without much ado, here's a video recording of the whole event and I hope you'll enjoy it. Again, please subscribe, like, and share if you haven't done so. Have fun! Ahorita 
Pwede man siguro. Pwede man. My very good friend Aline. I haven't seen her for a long time. And she's here. <laughs>